Hello everyone, this is Pejman Rusty and today I wanted to show you the Deep Image plugin uh, that can be used to run deep learning algorithm, state of the art deep learning algorithm on our, our images without writing a line of script or, or code. So this is the website of, uh, of uh, Deep Image or we call it Deep G as well and in that you can download the plugin and use it in uh, in your uh, your Fiji application or image. So this is the how you can uh, you can download it. So this is you can find some uh, some videos here and also different different model. Okay. So this is how we we can use it. Of course that there are some options to to build a bundle. Okay. But we don't go in this video on that. We will use it as a tool to for our or uh, images or our data. Okay. Let's go and and use it. So while we download it uh, and uh, add it to our Fiji, so we can open our Fiji application, <coughs> and then when our Fiji application is uh, open, so in the plugin, I can go and see the image uh, deep deep image, okay, the run explore or or build a bundle model. So as, as I said, so we don't go for for the explorer and the binding bundle model. We wanted to use it as a tool as a tool uh, for or or purposes. Okay. So there are different model in uh, in uh, deep image uh, that we can use. For example, if we have an image uh, like this, so we will use the plugin and go to deep image and deep image run. Okay, there will be a uh, deep image uh, run uh, page. So in that, it will ask us about the model of the deep image that we wanna we wanna to use. We will go to the to the list. There are several models. Okay, I will show you later how you can add new model uh, on that. But for example, in this case, we wanted to use care. Okay, that is a state of the art algorithm for image restorations. So if you wanted to do this, so we will go and create. Uh, when we select care, and then it says that uh, if there is some uh, pre-processing uh, macro, please add it here. <coughs> so we open it, and there is a pre-processing, and there is a post-processing macro that we add it it's here as well. So you don't need to do this when you uh, download the model. All the necessary or other uh, pre-requirement are uh, are uh, already uh, there, and you don't need to, to do anything. Then you will come uh, further to the to the patch uh, patch size in the in the pixel if you wanted to to keep it, or if you wanted to to change it, you can change it to other other patch size. But you should say that the uh, model was tested with 512 512 image of uh, 100 pixel by 100 pixel uh, size. So. It said that the test consume uh, 195.4 megabytes, so of of the memory. This is the one. So and this is the patch size. Let's keep it as it is uh, to be to be simple. And then for lagging, uh, I can say it can be mute. It can be normal. Don't show any any lagging. Or I can consider as a variable because we wanted to see what what happened in the next. That's it. And you press OK. It's uh, read the the image and we will do uh, it uh, on on the that and that will be the output. You can have some some information which is load the images, load the model. Okay, so it ask if it uh, if there is an error, no, it's the false. So it will start the uh, pre-processing, then end the pre-processing, start progress, start running, and so on. So and at the end, it give us. Uh, Restore the image that with the uh, with care based on or uh, or or input. Okay, that was an example for for that. So another example can be for example if you want if you have some uh, data some data like this that it's a noisy data and we wanted to denoise it. So we can use one of another state of the art uh, deep learning algorithm that is called uh, noise to to void that is used for, for denoising. So we we'll select this again I will add pre processing macro, post processing macro and the the patch size. Again I will keep it as uh, as a default and I will put variables to see what uh, what are the, the process. 
so I run it and it takes time a little couple of uh, seconds and it generate the, the output image if you wanted to uh, if I compare it to to my original image so this is that this is the denoised image that uh, that we can have so again here you can see that it took 5.4 uh, seconds to to run the uh, run the the model and generate the output for for us so we saw two example one for uh, image restoration another for uh, denoising let's go further and have an image that we wanted to to do the to the segmentation instant segmentation or we can if we wanted to find the, the uh, distance map on, on that okay so we have this and we can go again to to plugin deep image g and run it so in now uh, we will use uh, star disk this is the this is the really well known uh, deep learning model that's used for instant segmentation we do the pre processing macro post processing macro keep the patch size as it is and purpose okay and what it uh, generate to to us it will generate the, the predicted distance okay and predicted object uh, probability here you can have the probability on the on the object okay on each object and you will have the the predicted uh, distance that can be so simple so it took almost four four seconds to, to do this and as the last example I will show you an image that for we can use it for semantic segmentation so on that this is uh, uh, our image so we go for the deep image run and we, we wanted to use unit as a segmentation uh, model okay so we go for the uh, pre-processing we go for the post-processing okay macros the patch size and then like so how we can have how we wanted to have the have locks okay it will run the model and it will generate for for us uh, the mask of a unit okay for our cells and also uh, the, the 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 object that that we have with uh, uh, with number of uh, pixels that uh, that uh, that they they show okay so here you can have the uh, region of interest management so this is how how we can uh, we can have all of them so if you wanted to update if you wanted to delete some of them okay if you wanted to rename some of them from uh, from here you can do this okay and you have the log uh, as well here so we saw together so let me to discard it so I will close all of them I don't need to save them okay so we saw together how we can use deep image and uh, uh, run uh, the deep learning algorithms on our, our data without writing uh, a line of, of, of code or, or a script so here we saw together four models for image restoration no, uh, denoising for uh, instant segmentation and semantic segmentation but uh, there are other uh, uh, models are available you can uh, download them and, and use them here are the list of them so we use this one that's a unit pancreatic segmentation and we use the 2d star disk uh, uh, nuclei detection okay so we can have uh, uh, other model for for unit for uh, hella segmentation we can have the noise to void we use it uh, care uh, for the image restoration that we, we use it okay for care and uh, the convolution uh, micro tubes this is the one that uh, we we saw it and there are uh, other models that you you can you can use it so you can use it as a, as a uh, model that are ready and you will apply it under your, your model also there are um, uh, other possibility that if you have the if you develop a deep learning model so you can uh, consider as the, the bundled uh, model and present it uh, here so that will be other people will uh, will use it so uh, that's for the the whole story about uh, deep image uh, please uh, write your your comment or, or your question on the caption of uh, this video uh, I will be uh, happy to, to respond to your your question. I wish you a, a good day and 
see you in the next video